Well, here we are at the Smart Energy Expo 2021 on the second day, and I've been walking past the stand a few times and thinking, oh my gosh, that's a flexible panel. <laughs> it's what I've always been thinking about, and I've got some questions. And they're gonna come from Thomas here, so, or well, questions from me to you, Thomas. Uh, why flexible panels? So the panel is uh, targeted more at lightweight. So what we've identified is 40% of the commercial industrial uh, market have structural limitations. The two limitations that we uh, are solving is one is dead load. So glass panels weigh 15 kilos per square metre. Uh, our lightweight panels only weigh 3.5 kilos per square metre installed. So that's a 70% reduction on dead load. So when these structures were built 5, 10, 15 years ago, they weren't engineered to take that, that weight. To put that into some perspective, a megawatt of glass panels weighs 80 tonne. Wow. So they're not engineered for, for, that, for that weight. The second structural limitation we solve is around uplift. Uh, conventional glass panels sit 200 mm off the roof. So again, if I have a 100 kilowatt system, for example, that way, oh, that takes up an area of approximately 600 square metres. So that now is a 600 square metre sail. So the uplift forces can get underneath the panel and put additional uplift forces on, on the roof structure, which they're not engineered for. So by our lightweight panel being bonded to a roof, uh, there's no uh, area for the wind to get underneath. So they're the two main structural problems we need to solve. I've been hearing about this problem, that um, at the, the standards for roofs really haven't considered the extra weight of solar panels. Or uplift, yes. And, and uplift, so the, the dead weight and the uplift. And so really it's, it's getting pretty difficult on some buildings to actually put conventional solar panels with glass, aluminium. So these panels weigh what, three and a half kilos per square, square meter? meter? Which is pretty damn light. I mean, it's almost nothing. So it's yeah. just, if you threw some chips up on the roof, the, the birds would probably weigh more. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there must be other benefits for a, a flexible panel. Yeah. So um, the other benefit is around penetration. So a lot of roofs have difficulty with uh, penetrating the structure. So as energy efficiency is becoming more prevalent in commercial buildings, uh, roofs are now built out of an insulated thermal panel that acts as that extra insulation level. So you don't want to be putting holes in your insulated panel roof. So being able to bond our solar panels to the roof, we have zero, uh, zero penetration. Um, so that's uh, another market that's opening up. Um, How does that bonding work? We use a structural glazing silicon yep. uh, that's used to uh, bond the solar panels to the roof. The silicon that we use uh, has two main markets. One is the automotive industry. So if you think about your car when you drive home, uh, back, to, back to home after the show, your uh, glass window is bonded into the steel frame of your car. There's no nuts and bolts that hold that in. Um, and the other main market for um, the, the glue that we use is glass curtain walls. So if you think about a 20 storey building, there's no nuts and bolts holding the glass into the aluminium frames. It's wow. all done with a structural glazing silicon. Yep. So we've just repurposed that uh, existing product and deploy that onto a, a commercial uh, installation. I can see this, that's great. There's two benefits. So light, dead weight, uh, no penetrations, which is a real plus. Um, is there uplift. certain an uplift three? Okay. Are there any uh, profiles that it's you know difficult or it suits? What are the what are the um, so it, just before we leave the zero penetration, there's also another market that's emerging yep. is around uh, concrete roofs. Yep. So more uh, commercial uh, strata complexes, uh, office buildings that have concrete roofs, yep. you don't want to be penetrating those roofs So with membranes or TPOs. Yep. Uh, so we're able to also uh, bond, uh, bond to, to those Also roofs. they're very expensive to, to, to attach to. To penetrate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now if we come down to there, some of the, the technical benefits that we've solved, there are some installer benefits. Um, uh, a 72 cell, 144 cell panel typically weighs 25, 27 kilos. Our panels weigh you know, 8 kilos. So in terms of uh, the load that an installer has to, to carry on, on a roof, um, by, so that's a major saving in, in labour, um, blood, sweat and tears. We have no uh, mounting hardware, so we save the time on having to install clip lock clamps, L feet, splice clits, all the mids and end clamps. So we take all that need out of the installation. Um, so we're able to reduce time on roof by, by 40%. Uh, we recently completed an installation at the end of last year. It was 52 kilowatts in Balmain, Sydney. We had four installers on the roof. They installed 52 kilowatts in 11 hours. Wow. 
there must be environmental benefits too. So no glass, no aluminium, no racking system, no, no brackets. So the embodied energy is, is another um, you know, a benefit for particularly uh, corporate sustainability. So as we know, glass and aluminium are very energy intensive products. So by being able to remove those from, uh, from the manufacturing process, our panels have uh, significantly less embodied energy. Uh, furthermore, because our panels are super thin, our, our packing density and transportation is significantly uh, yeah. greater. So in one pallet, we can get up to 20 kilowatts per pallet. Wow. Whereas our conventional glass cousins can only get to you know, six or seven to eight kilowatts uh, per pallet. So in terms of uh, embodied energy through transportation of panels uh, through the global economy, there's, there's also, they've brought a sustainability savings there. Right, wow. So what about lifespan? What's the warranty on these? So, so um, the panels come with a 25 year linear power warranty. Wow. Um, and a 10 year product warranty. So same as glass? Same as glass. Oh, that's amazing. So the innovation is not so much with uh, the cells. We use conventional uh, monocrystalline um, solar cells. So uh, same cells, same electrical characteristics, same performance. Uh, the IP that we've developed is we've uh, developed a composite material that has the strength and durability of glass without any of the weight. Uh, Dr. Zhen Rongxi, the founder of Sunman, um, took learnings from the um, um, aviation industry. So the aviation industry has spent billions of dollars over the last uh, two or three decades to make their aeroplanes lighter. The lighter your aeroplane is, the more fuel efficient it is. And these composite materials have been a, a major factor in that. So we've taken learnings from the um, aviation industry, taken their lightweight composite materials that have the strength and durability of glass without any of the weight, coupled with the proven reliable technology of crystalline silicon solar cells, and we've merged the two together to create this lightweight solar panel. So being crystalline, how do you go with flexing and, and the potential for micro cracks? How's yeah. that dealt with? So um, there's a couple of design features that go into the panel. So if you look at a panel closely, you'll see there's gaps in between the cells. So when we flex the panel, it's actually the gaps between the cells that bend, not so much the cells themselves. So that's one way we, we manage uh, the effects of, of micro cracks. The second thing is through the lamination process. Uh, the lamination is applied equally over the cell. So cells themselves, when flexed and loads evenly distributed over the cells, we're able to mitigate uh, any of that, um, that that cracking. So a lot of design and IP has gone into the manufacturing of the cell to mitigate uh, any of those micro crack issues. I'd like to draw an analogy to explain micro cracks. So for those familiar with building sites in Giprock, you think about Giprock, it's a rough and ready building material. It sort of has a bit of give and flex to it, but if I hold it the wrong way, I'll break it. So if you, when you think about holding the Sunman panel, if you hold it and, and um, use it within its design parameters, uh, there's no micro crack issues, but if you pick it up the wrong way, you know, put your elbow on it, you will, you, you will, you will, um, you will damage it, so. Wow, um, there's so many advantages. Um, I'm just trying to think, the differences are blowing my mind. Uh, so because you're, uh, you've got a lightweight product that packs very densely, that uh, uh, has the same performance and lifespan as a crystalline module, um, you, and your environmental benefits are both uh, that the, the embodied energy is very small, um, that it doesn't have a high dead weight. I'm trying to look for a negative. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Not being negative about this, yeah. but you know, like there's always a point of difference. Yeah. Um, Look, one of the things that's getting me down a bit as an installer from way, way back was I used to be able to pick up a 75 watt panel, stick it under one arm, I could even stick one on the other arm and carry them up to the roof. Then came the 150s and that was getting a bit big, but you could do it. Now we've got these 400 watt monsters that even with two people, and now, <laughs> Bifacial, two sheets of glass, let's go for it, 30 yeah. kilos. Um, and upper ladder, it's really dangerous, it's heavy. I mean, eight kilos. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a piece of cake. So yeah. you've actually made life a bit safer too, which yeah. it, there's not manual handling issues. Yeah, so there's all these soft cost savings that, yeah. that, that often get overlooked on spreadsheets. People yeah. look at cents per watt for panels, cents yeah. per watt for, for inverters, and what are the soft cost savings around transportation? Less edge protection, less scissor lift hire, less crane hire, 
So, you know, getting those calculations into our spreadsheets so we can identify the, the soft cost savings. So, yeah. So uh, are they, that full turnkey cost. Are these suitable for you know con conventional corrugated roofs, for instance? A any metal roofs. Any so metal corrugated, roof. trapezoidal, okay. um, insulated panels that have no profile, just yep. a flat, flat membrane roofs that have got a, a PVC TPO yep. or, or bitumen uh, or bitumen membrane. Uh, we're able to, to solve um, all those and problems. And I bet the RV market love you. We do a roaring trade in, in, the, in the boating, caravan and yeah. RV markets, particularly as the grey nomads are looking for more energy in terms around satellite TV, hot water, air conditioners. Uh, they're getting air, air hungrier for, for energy. So by putting more glass panels on actually reduces their towing uh, capacity or their, their, their weight limits. So uh, we open up a, a lot of markets there. I've also you know, spent a bit of time talking about the, the commercial market, but let's not ignore uh, the residential market. So we're having some great success in the resi uh, space, uh, typically around supporting structures, how many carports, pergolas, verandas, patios that, that are mm. out there. So um, you know, the popular system size at the moment is a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system on the, on, the, uh, on the main home. But how do we utilise more of that, that roof space? So how do we get homes up to 10, 12, 15 kilowatts? And we can do that by utilising our technology on carports, pergolas, verandas, patios. So oh, I get it too. You're flexible in where you can put these panels. You yes. don't have to, oh, they've got to fit on these uh, that screw lines here. Yeah. We go, well, we've got a certain amount of roof area. Let's just cover it as best we can with these panels using the silicon uh, adhesive approach. That's right. Oh, piece of so we can have a hybrid approach. You yeah. can install glass panels where you can yeah. and on those roofs that you can't, or you can also look at installing our, our cool. technology. Well, thanks very much, Tom. Great. Thank okay. you. Okay.